Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Archives Fantasia, presented to you by Discreet Silver. Um, we just entered this scary place last time with a bunch of guys with scythes and stuff and scary dolls and shit. Um, yeah, but the place overall is pretty simple. Everything dies really fast. Like that. I probably did not even have to use three hits there. Wow. And most of the time here, what what happens is um the 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 monsters don't attack except for the giant scythe guys. So basically, they're all using their AP on one person, like I or I always do. And wow, these things do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. As you can see, the only thing that has been attacking me are have been the scythe guys. Yeah, but these things do give a lot of experience, as you can see. It's pretty, it's pretty okay. Like, I, I'm okay with the amount of experience they give me. So yeah, this place is a great place to level up if you're behind. Uh, the scythe guys don't do that much damage. They do a decent amount, but it's not like going to kill your whole team. Especially if you have like Riffia in your party. She'll, she'll heal enough with Oracle's healing. Although I do think that the monster's scythe like physical attack should be area of effect. Just because of how like big that scythe is. But they don't really show that because it's just not what they do. So yeah, there's a strength leaf over here. Uh, it permanently gives you strength when you use it. So it's like a stat booster type of thing. Hey, it's okay. We never expected you to let us pass through. <laughs> okay, so there's a ton of these guys. I'm just gonna wipe them all out really fast here. Hopefully. I guess not. Lark's too weak. Too weak. Uh oh, this thing's gonna rape me now. Ow. So yeah, uh, basically Nico's saying here is basically what I said earlier about how how the scythe enemy takes up all of the moves of the enemy. There are four things, but he's the only thing that's attacking. Well, he, it's not that strong, so you could actually just kill it first, which is an okay thing to do too. Because then the enemy gets no attacks off at all, like this turn. So yeah, you might take a lot of damage from these fights, but they're not gonna give you like a game over by any means. So this place is all right. Uh -huh. 
I'm going to try killing this thing first for once. Oh. Guess I need a preemptive strike to do that. Although the other enemies do do damage, so sometimes you might just want to kill them all first. It really depends on what you feel like doing. But yeah, you can just do the typical strategy, just spam attacks and stuff. Doesn't really matter. There's a chest here. I'm just checking my uh, gems here, just to make sure they're all set. I don't really want to fight anything right now. Although, that was really gay. That was actually really gay. Didn't know these things could teleport. Mm. But yeah, after you get to a, like a certain point in time, you can just uh basically never have to like die here because you just have oracle of healing and it heals enough and you kill the scythe guys in like a round yeah i like these battles the best these things don't have very much ap so you can just like blow the hell out of them and they'll all die Although, I keep thinking I need 3 hits to kill those things. That's pretty dumb. Of me. Man, I hate ra how ray stones are attackable. It's pretty annoying. So yeah, there's a save point here. I guess I'll save. Doesn't really matter. And there's a chest over here. I still think that Excel act looks hella cool. Even if it's like his most basic one. It looks pretty badass. So yeah, uh, chest here with the uh, amethyst, and this thing gives you elemental resistance to water and wind. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna put on on Rastin for now. Things that give you elemental resistance in this game though, they're really, really, really overpowered. They'll, they'll win you fights that you won't win normally, and it's, it's Deuce Chanter, dude. I hate that guy. Why is he here? What the hell? Little girl and douche know each other. What is going on here? Cecil? 
Little, I think you're lying. You just read my mind, Lark. You just read it. What is going on here? Can someone please tell me? I I I really I re I really don't know what's going on here. Also, I, I really think like this game took like a book out of like Tales of the Abyss or something. If anyone has played that game, try try comparing Dinos to Sink. Like actually. Oh, this guy is this guy's on his period. No good. No good. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's like Bowser or some shit. Actually, no, that, that looks like a monster from Monster Hunter quite a bit. But its name is Fafnir, and there are no ray crystals on the map right now. So I'm just going to spread everybody out and use an analyzer, because that's what I do. So yeah, you just want to like use magic on this thing, but when do you not want to use magic? Also, if you sync it with your friends, like I'm doing here, you get more AP back, so you should always be doing that. As you can see, its weakness is fire and wind, which means you will be doing a lot of damage to it. That original attack is an area of effect attack. It, do it doesn't really do that much damage. So, it's okay. But it does have a lot of AP per turn, so it's kind of dumb sometimes. But yeah, basically for your first, like, what you, what you want to be doing first off is just spam fire magic. Like, you can use wind too, but that's more for area of effect, and then fire's, th fire, fire magic does the best damage in the game. This is an ice elemental attack that attacks twice. It does quite a bit of damage, and it's really dumb. It's also why they give you the amethyst because ice magic is hybrid of water and wind magic. So it'll give whoever you're using more like a defense against it. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'll just attack. Everything does a decent amount of damage to this boss, but it just has a lot of health. And after a while, it kind of just wears you down because you're taking a lot of damage. But if you're ever like, you know, like bad situation you just want to like heal up and like defend and then you can like start attacking again this attack um lowers every stat i mean not really it increases offensive stats and lowers defensive stats so it's more about like outlasting this boss
So yeah, if you have two people with this fireball skill, it will do a shit ton of damage. 2500 is a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I wasn't smart enough to increase this guy's um, magic. Ah, uh, this level 2 magic. Because it would have killed this thing a lot faster, but I only have one. So. That's a bit dumb on my part. But it's not that bad, you know. Because <laughs> uh, my lark still has like, the fun of this. So yeah, this is pretty much like what lark, um, lark Rise Fantasia becomes. It's pretty much spam items and try to do damage. It gets pretty annoying. <laughs> So yeah, this boss pretty much has like the same pattern the whole time through. But it's not like exactly a threatening pattern, so it's not something you have to worry about too much. After that, you can release him off. He'll, he'll do a decent amount of damage. It's not too much, but it, it's, a, it's good enough. This attack will, yeah, kill someone. But he only uses it like once, so it's not really a problem. But the, the fact that this dragon can uh, kill the ultimate badass character means that the dragon is pretty badass. After that, you basically just want to spam Excelax until the thing dies. And you want to keep using items so you don't die yourself. Radiant Song will do a lot of damage against this boss because it's weak to both fire and wind elements, which is light magic. So you want to be using this attack. It, it might even stun the boss like it did there, which gets rid of one of, it, one of its turns. And I stunned him twice, wow. This guy is truly the ultimate badass, only he would do something like that. So yeah, I think I can kill him this turn, so I'm just gonna attack him a billion times. Oh, does the turn have to be or over for this thing to die or something? Ow. Or is this thing actually not dead? What? Really? It's still alive. Okay, well, you can just kill it then, when it's a slow. Well, this might only happen for me. And why is it not dying? Jesus. Shut up, Nico. What do you know? Well, badass is gonna reveal another one. His secrets. Gonna reveal a secret. 
Okay, so yeah, you just gotta hit him with whatever you want. Uh, no, I'm gonna not do that. Okay. So yeah, you have to make sure everything is on the offensive excel act, obviously. And it um, activates this attack. Um, this is called an uh, excel act trinity. And they do a lot of damage. So... Yeah, it, it's really good to use whenever you want. And so the dragon is finally dead. And you, you get a lot of experience from this thing. I think this this boss sometimes drops an accessory which I just got. It's the Fell Dragon Scale. I don't think it drops all the time. I'm not really sure. But you can always just reset to get it. Oh, no wonder this guy is so badass. He's he's of a race that's considered divine. Wait, if Isa accepted Imaginal's Law, what are we- why are we playing this game? Just why? おう。それが眠れる新宿。そう。まあ、ぶっちゃけて言うと、私たちが眠ってたのは、イマジナルシンの神殿になってる空中回廊、ラスカーダ。そっちはまだ空の上にあるんだよ。今でも、イマジナルシンの元では何十万という人々が眠りについている。まだ古兵員の温存は浄化され
And that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching.